Okay, in this video, I'm going to be solving another problem which involves finding out the mo the volume of a given product when you have a, a give from a given from a given from from a given mass of a reactant. And so this question says, what volume of carbon dioxide is produced when 10 grams of calcium carbonate react with excess hydrochloric acid at room temperature and pressure? So. The first thing I'm going to need to do here is, is work out a balanced equation. And so cal carbon, calcium carbonate is reacting with excess hydrochloric acid. So CaCO3 is reacting with hydrochloric acid, HCl, and that's producing uh, a metal salt so C in this case is going to be CaCl2 and H2O and CO2 so now I need to balance this equation so calcium here is Ca we have one calcium on this side one calcium on this side for car carbon we have one on this side for oxygen we have three on this side now for hydrogen we have one on this side and for chlorine chlorine we have one on this side now for CaCO2 H2CO2 we have one calcium um, chlorine we have two chlorines hydrogen we have two hydrogens oxygens we have one two three we have three oxygens and carbons we have one carbon so right now the carbons are balanced the oxygens are balanced the hydrogens are not balanced and the chlorines are not balanced so for this particular one it's quite simple what we need to do we need to add a two to the HCl and now we have two hydrogens two chlorines and same on this side we have two hydrogens and we have two chlorines so the equation is now balanced so now we can move on with the question so now we we have the mass of calcium carbonate which reacts calcium carbonate we have the mass of this which reacts and we're trying to find out the volume of of carbon dioxide co2 now the first thing I'm going to do is work out the number of moles of calcium carbonate which which is reacting and we have the mass 10 grams using the equation number of moles equals mass divided by molar mass we can work out the the number of moles and we can work out the molar mass from the periodic table so 10 divided by let me just work out the molar mass here CaCO3 so that's Ca 40.1 40.1 plus 12 plus 16 and that 16 is going to be multiplied by 3 so 6 plus 16 times 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 3 now it's going to be equal to one hundred point one and so we're going to divide 10 by 100.1 and if we do that, what we find is that equals equals zero point well zero point one basically to to to, to one significant figure. And then we look at we use this and we look at the uh, 
the molar ratio and the molar ratio between or what we're trying to find we're trying to find the volume of carbon dioxide produced the molar we look at the molar ratio between calcium carbonate and co2 and we can see here that it's a one-to-one -one relationship in terms of ratio because we have one mole of this for every one mole of this and so the number of moles for car carbon dioxide is going to be 0 0.1 as well so we've got 0 0.1 moles of of co2 and so now we can use the equation since I, since since decimeters cubed is a standard unit for volume i'm going to use that so number of moles is equal to the mass no not the mass the volume divided by the uh, 24 so i'm going to multiply both sides by 24 so the number of moles times 24 equals the volume and so I'm going to multiply 0 0.1 by 24 which will give me the volume which is 2.4 so to, the volume of carbon dioxide produced is 2.4 moles no 2.4 decimeters cubed and so that's how you'd work it out